This project is one of my favorites. This is creating a Pinewood Derby car from a, a template. And uh, we're going to make this, which is, I think, kind of a cool looking Pinewood Derby car. If uh, you're in the Cub Scouts or Boy Scouts and you're at all familiar with the Pinewood Derby, you know that uh, you start off with a block of material that is um, provided by Boy Scouts or Cub Scouts and you have to use that block in order to carve out your your design. So this gives you a chance to, uh, if you are planning on doing a Pinewood Derby, uh, planning out your design. And if you're really lucky, uh, find somebody with a uh, desktop CNC router who can take your model that you create here and actually carve it out of the block automatically. So to get started, we're going to work with um, a shape that I know is uh, accurate to the model that you're provided, to the block of wood that you're provided. So in the search field, search design, search for pine wood. Right now you see just two. I'm sure we'll see more. Both of these are by me, and the one you want is the one that's by me, K. Wixon. Uh, that looks like a block and it says Pinewood Derby Basic Racer Kit. For you, you should be able to copy and tinker this. If you click on it, duplicate and tinker for me. I think yours might just say copy and tinker right from the beginning. It'll load up and look like this. Now the Pinewood Derby has a lot of fairly strict rules and so a lot of things have to be sized just so and to accomplish this we're going to make use of some features of Tinkercad that allow us to do some precise modeling. So um, we're going to if we look over this, we see that it has uh, axles in the bottom. I've got the wheels placed where they need to be. And the block is the right shape. Very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that block. And I'm going to move that duplicated block off to the side. This is so that later we can refer back to this block and make sure that our, our new design fits inside of it. Because we're going to start whittling away at this block. Now, you can just uh, design by cutting stuff away. But we're going to do it um, a little bit backwards from that, is I'm going to cut away almost everything from the block and then add stuff back to it. Now I'm excited for you to do this project and I'm excited for you to come up with your very own Pinewood Derby uh, car designs. But uh, for right now, let's create the design that uh, I'm going to present here because it's going to teach you some important things about how to do uh, things in Tinkercad. Okay. So um, first off, I'm going to need some things to make holes out of and cut down this block. Now I'm going to bring in a block, a red box, and I'm going to make sure that it's only a little ways above here. And here's where we start with the new cool thing. I could just just eyeball it, meaning just look at it and see about where I want. But let's say I want a very precise distance here. I'm going to need a ruler. So if you click on the ruler and drag it out onto the work plane, it appears there. Now in the corner there is a little circle. You can click on dra and drag on that in order to move it around. and then you can just click on it oops click on it to get it to change directions so there we have the ruler 
sort of facing towards our, our block. When you have something selected and you have the ruler active, it shows you a bunch of numbers. For instance, this number is how far from the work plane, how far from the ruler this block is up off the surface, and then how big the block is, so 32.05. It's 178.1 millimeters long. 45.25 millimeters wide and the ruler is nine millimeters away from this edge and um, looks like four millimeters away from the end. Okay. The number we want right now that's important is 11.5. So we select the box and we see that it's up 19.00. Well, you can click on one of these numbers and actually change it. And we want it to match this 11.95. So I'm going to click on that, click there, and type in 11.95. And there you see that box is exactly even with the bottom of our template. Now let's say we want to go up 5 millimeters. All I have to do is add 5 to that number, so 16.95, and I have gone up exactly 5 millimeters, which that's pretty cool, right? Now I'm going to drag this out to be longer than the block on either side. So a non-uniform scale there. I'm going to move it over so it's overlapping a little bit. And then drag it over here so it's overlapping a little bit. I need it to completely cover it, so I'm going to drag it up. And there we have it. Turn that into a hole and then group that with the template block. Oops, made a mistake. Not far enough down there. So undo that and then change my size again. There we go. Alright, so there we have a sort of a frame for the car. We're going to cut this down even further. Let's bring out another box. And I'm going to move the cursor over here. 